Alright guys, uh, I got another water cooled project for you. Uh, as you know, I just did the PS3 Slim, and uh, I also had this Xbox, which was a completely stock Xbox that I just use once in a while. Um, and since I had, an, I still had the other pump, this reservoir, which I've used in several other projects, as well as uh, the water block for the 360, and all the tubing and radiators. Figured I'd might as well water cool it, kind of make it match the PS3. They're both white with the red accents. The only thing I had to get order was the uh, this fan here, and uh, I got a new temperature display. This is a 200 millimeter fan, uh, which blows air into the side of the Xbox. You can see on the inside, this Xbox is unpainted. It's just the regular white. I uh, painted the inside, the DVD drive white, as well as the two radiators white. Uh, it also has a Talos Moon whisper fan in the back. It had blue LEDs in it, but I just took the LEDs out. Um, see back here on this side, got the reservoir the, where you can add the water. Down at the bottom here we got, this is the inlet. The exit is at the bottom, it's this bottom tube there. Um, the wire here is going to the temperature sensor which goes into this side. And then there's another blank port at the bottom here to empty the water out. Uh, for some reason, the inside of this Xbox must have been an older model. The resistors were a lot taller and I couldn't fit the pump on the inside so I kind of had to move things around. Kind of crazy on the back but... It's just a personal uh, Xbox. That way I have two matching systems that I can bring to school or whatever. Um, see at the top and bottom are painted this red as well as some of the stuff on the front here. It's a very metallic uh, shiny paint job. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and turn it on so you can see what it looks like. Got the red uh, LEDs swapped out here. See, it's working. The uh, fan here has red LEDs in it. The inside of the Xbox has more white LEDs. I've just been playing it all morning, so I got it up to about 36 Celsius. Usually, if you've been playing for a few hours of some hard, hardcore gameplay, it'll it can get up to about 40 to Celsius, which is really not bad at all. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much everything on here. I am still thinking about getting one of the new systems and doing something crazy with one of those. Um, just kind of waiting, saving up some money. Um, but if anybody, you know, contacts me and wants one of their sy new systems customized, I'll definitely show you guys. And um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you guys in the next video.